in the fish Jesus used the fish in three four areas significantly in four areas the first one to draw Simon Peter to come and his entire family he used the fish to get a man committed to his ministry and turn him into a rock Peter Peter he used the fish again Nate. to pay the taxes. He didn't say, Simon Peter, go get a lamb. Go get a, go get a, 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 a sheep. No. He said, go catch a fish. Open its mouth. Take out a gold nugget. Go pay your taxes and my taxes. He uses the fish to tell Simon Peter that the way I called you is the way you should maintain it. I called you through a fish. Live by the fish. You got saved by faith. Live by faith. The just shall live by faith. The way God brought you in the ministry is the way you should maintain it. If God brought you through miracles, live by miracles. If God brought you by religion, live by religion. But some of us, we were brought by faith. We were brought by miracles. We were brought by grace. We were brought by total surrender. That's how we are going to live. I say that's how we were brought in by fasting. We were brought in by prayer. We were brought in by the word of God. We were brought in by the miracles of God. Live that way. I have seen so many ministries. They take off. And they go for a while. And then they become religious. God brought you in when you are hungry for the supernatural. You long for the supernatural. Whatever he said you did. Now you've reached the stage. You are comfortable. No way. You used to preach with fire. Caleb said to Joshua. For this 40 years. I've been with you. I feel. And he was 40 years when he joined in with Moses. 40 years with Moses. 40 years with Joshua. And he says, the man is 80 years. I feel as though I am 18 years old. As I just began, my fire has not seen. My strength has not seen. I'm still strong. Some of you preachers. Now, after five years now you've got a tie uh, you've got a good shoes you're now preaching as though you are dying tomorrow you used to you even have a 200 people in your church or even a thousand people but remember how you used to preach when you had only two people how you used to preach when you had only 20 how you prepare your sermon only for 20 people how you are so excited to go to church you couldn't even wait for sunday But now some Sundays you said, I'm going to the beach. Uh, you can preach. Uh. Now you're going to the beach. Uh. Now you're going to the beach. Jesus was showing him. Yes, Don't forget Simon Peter. Simon that money was not to pay taxes for every any other disciple. It was for Peter and him. He said, let me show you something. I brought you by the way of the fish. Don't you ever forget the fish. 
That's why when Simon Peter, Jesus is dead, yes, we are far. and he doesn't know he's resurrected, all his hopes are gone. Three and a half years of investment gone. He went back to the lake. He went back fishing. He tried, he couldn't catch. Then his master, his friend, said, Uh-huh, I'll meet you at the fish. I'll bring it back to you, Simon Peter. We'll have a deeper conversation over fish. I don't know how God called you. I wasn't there. But I know how he called me. I don't know how he called you. What did he do to call you? Sometimes we, we want to be like everybody else. Child of God. You are different. Like those mirrors. You are different. The effect is the same. But you are different. 